All right, good evening, seventh grade. Um, I apologize I didn't get this video out to you earlier. Um, I found out a couple days ago I had to leave town yesterday afternoon. Um, and I just got back probably about two hours. So um, appreciate your patience. Um, I did get a lot of emails, um, a lot of concerns about how to attach the assignment. Um, again, if you saw the video yesterday, the only thing I asked you to do was just to fill out 46. So to recap from yesterday, we are uh, had our focus question, how does the ocean affect climate on land? Um, and we had 46. And 46 was the uh, table that we filled out. Uh, and then we were in uh, the resource book where we had the map of the US cities, um, talking about the Alaska cities, the Northern California cities, and the Southern California cities. And we had the climate, both uh, average monthly temperature and the average precipitation, which was located directly in the book. Uh, and then Southern and Northern California here. So your job yesterday was to just fill out the worksheet. And then today we are going to move on to worksheet 47. So uh, here, uh, worksheet 47 was climate factors ocean distance B, uh, which looks like this. So again, if you don't have the worksheets for these on plan book, look up here, we have April 1st, April 2nd, and April 3rd. Down here at the bottom, I have the PowerPoint. I have worksheet 46 and worksheet 47 for you to open up. Um, even worksheet 47, you don't have to worry about 46 are just as easy enough because you can easily fill those out um, by typing the answers. So what you're supposed to do today which some of you I see already did, which is good, uh, is to answer these five questions. Um, again, if you'd like to engage with some individuals in your class or other classes, you know how it goes in my class. I really don't care um, if you talk to other students about having a conversation. The idea is not to have student A ask student B, hey, can you give me the answers? and you're not really learning anything. So the idea is to have a conversation and ask questions. Um, and then if there are any issues beyond that, then feel free to reach out to me. Uh, so what I'm gonna look for you to do is to answer these five questions, and then I will have you submit them on Google Classroom, which is right here. So what I've done is I've attached both worksheets because I'd like you to turn them in individually, and I would like you to turn them in to Google Classroom. So for some of you that already have taken pictures and load them, great. I need you to attach them to Google Classroom because that'll be a lot easier for me and a focal point to actually grade these. Um, <clears throat> so with that, I would like you to grade or attach them individually. So we have 46 down here, 47 here. Um, if you go to your class period, you will see there's your upcoming assignments. So if you want to, you can click on worksheet 46. Granted, that takes me to um, the uh, roster, uh, whereas for you, it'll probably take you to the actual assignment. So I see, well, one of you, nice job, Annie, has already submitted 46. Um, and then you'll go back to your class period and then do the same thing for 47. Uh, Cause like in class, I'm gonna grade each one individually. But again, I'm gonna look to see if you did it and you're gonna get your five points. Um, and as you see, those are due this Sunday, April 5th, yep, at midnight tonight. Or at midnight on Sunday night. So you have plenty of time to take care of that. Um, this isn't going to be the end of the week. Um, I do have one more thing for you to do. Um, which I will post the video on tomorrow. Um, again, it's very simple, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna look to wrap up 8-3, and I am going to give you an assessment next week. Um, and again, 
tests are a little bit different now because we're doing this online. Um, so bear with me. Um, I can tell you what next week will look like is Monday. I will post a review. I'll tell you what's going to be on the test like I always do. And then I'm going to give you the rest of the week to take the tests. Um, since I can't be with you, um, I'm not going to monitor whether or not you use your notes, whether or not you get on and use your resource book. Um, so it will be open note. It will be open resource book. Um, but it'll probably be graded a little bit tougher because of that. Um, so please make sure that you go over the questions and make sure you're ready. Don't rely on your notes. Don't rely on your resource book. Rely on what you've learned so far and rely on what I give you for the review um, to dig into that. So with that, um, I'm sorry I didn't post a challenge as of making this video right now. I am going to post the late challenge today and then I will get you another challenge tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right. Have a good night. Miss you.